<laughs> Here in L.A., uh, kids could be back in school for real next month. Right now, the plan is for schools to be open by mid-April, and then I guess shut down again in May is usually how it goes. But this will be welcome news for parents, for uh, kids, for bullies who've been short of nerd lunch money for <laughs> almost a year now. Remote learning is the best we can do, I guess. And I believe that children are our, what, Guillermo? Children are? Our future. That's right. And so we did something <laughs> fun and not so educational for our future. We got in touch with the school in my hometown of Las Vegas, Ellis e Elementary School, where they were gracious enough to let me uh, be a substitute teacher for a fourth grade class. All right, boys and girls, can you mute yourselves? Make sure you mute yourselves. I have a very important announcement to make. I have an emergency and I have to go, but I have a very great substitute that's gonna take over our class. And I will see you on Monday. Bye. Bye, Ms. Ojeda. Hello, children. Hi. I'm Mr. Cotter, how are you? Good. I know it's respect week, right? Is this respect week? Let's start Respect Week by going around the class, say something nice about me, okay? We'll start with Chase. Chase, go ahead. Um, you have a beautiful afro. Thank you, Chase. Kyle? Nice tie. Oh, thanks. Mason, what do you like about me? I like your name. Thank you, Mason. I like your name. I also love that generic football photograph you have hanging in your room. Kino? You look very handsome. Thank you. Kino, you live in Las Vegas and your parents named you Kino? It's Keanu. Oh, okay. All right. Tell that to the people at the casino. Makeda? I like it, the clock in the background. Oh. Yeah, that's a prop. Ava, go ahead. Close it out with something really great about me. You're very funny. Oh, thank you, Ava. I appreciate that. But we're not here to laugh today, we're here to learn. And we're here to learn about math. Now, some math problems are just numbers, but I like to put a story along with the math problem. So, a man named Ted has 20 peanuts and eats half of them. How many peanuts does Ted have? OT. 10. Now, you'd think that normally 10 would be the correct answer, but unfortunately, Ted choked on one of the peanuts and um, he's dead. So, really, he has no peanuts at all. That's why we have to be very careful with peanuts. That was dark. Should we do some more math? Yes, okay. If I order a soy latte and the barista charges me $4, and I give the barista a $1 tip, but then the barista tells me they're out of soy and gives me back $4, should I get back that $1 tip? Nick. Yes. That's right, Nick. I should get back that $1 tip, and yet I didn't. Very annoying. Do you guys feel like you're learning? No? Oh. Okay. Hey, do you want to meet my pet? I'm a parrot. I'm a parrot. Um, we call him Mr. Crackers. I want to have a cigarette. Can no. I have a cigarette? No. Can you have a cigarette? No. I want a cigarette. We're kids. We don't need it. Kids don't like cigarettes, Mr. Crackers. Does anyone have a question for Mr. Crackers? Yes, uh, Kylie. Um, do you think Mr. Cotter is a good owner? Oh. Uh, Mr. Cotter stole me from my real owner. Uh, I miss my family. I adopted I him. My family. That's not true at all. I did not steal him from his real owner. Does anyone else have a question? Yes, uh, Chase. Is Mr. Cotter mean to you? What kind of questions are these? <laughs> Bark, Mr. Cotter feeds me gas station sushi. Bark, it gives me diarrhea. Bark. Who wants to hear a song? Bark. Anyone want to hear a song? When you're sitting on Zoom and you gotta make a boom, diarrhea. <laughs> diarrhea. When you're scared of corona and your butt smells like bologna, diarrhea, diarrhea. I taught him that song. 
when you're sitting in class and stuff comes out of your... Oh, Mr. Crackers, we, let's not use... I told you we can't use language like that. So immature. He's very immature. My parents were killed by poachers. Ah. All right, I'm going to ask you to tell me one thing that bothers you about one of your parents. Kyle, go ahead. We'll begin with you. One annoying thing um, about my parents is that um, they always say they love me. <laughs> I know. Luckily, my parents never, ever said that, so I was never, ever annoyed. Nick. When my parents won't let me watch football. What, are they communists? <laughs> Maya, yes, go ahead. They never let me have candy. What kind of candy do you love? Hard candy. Hard candy? Like an old lady? You want some lozenges? Do you know the word lozenge? No. Let me spell it for you. L-O-Z-E-N-G-E. -E. Lozenge. OK? Well, I've got something to say. Mr. Carter makes me sleep in the microwave and detail his car. That's all true, yeah. And sometimes he takes a lozenge and he shoves it right up Mr. Oh, no, OK, Mr. Crackers. Uh, kids, I think we're going to have to end the lesson now. Before we end the class, uh, does anybody want to share anything that they learned today? Yes, Makeda. That this class is very weird. Very good. All right. Say goodbye to Mr. Crackers, everybody. Bye, Mr. Bye, Mr. Crackers. When it's time for us to quit, and I gotta take a... Oh, oh, okay, I told you we can't use language like that. Oh. Diarrhea. Diarrhea. Okay. Bye, kids. Bye. Thanks, kids. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings. <laughs>